How's it going guys? Today I'm doing a portrait in ink tents on Fabriano Artistico hot press 140 pound watercolor paper, the one in the bonded pad. This picture is four by six inches, so just a small piece of artwork. But I find that when I'm working on something new or a new technique or I'm just practicing, if I work small, I can complete it in a shorter amount of time and still learn a lot from it. So if you're feeling really intimidated by a new project or a new medium or something like that, just work smaller and it'll be a lot easier and a lot less daunting. And if you mess it up, no big deal. It was just a four by six picture anyway. You didn't waste a whole bunch of paper. So that's another plus. So lately I've been doing this thing where I use just three colors, green, aquamarine, violet, and magenta. My goal with just using these three colors is to focus more on the value of the subject rather than the specific colors. As you can see, I'm building up the values very slowly, working in several layers. This gives me a little bit better control in making sure that I don't go too dark too soon. You can lighten up areas with the white ink tents, but I find that it doesn't cover it up completely and you can still see it when you look at it from up close. I think it's also important to mention too that I did this in several sittings. Like this is, it, it'll look like it's one seamless transition from start to finish, but there were several really short periods where I would paint something and then let it dry, paint something and then let, let it dry. It's not like I'm just continuously painting. You have to let it dry in between layers or it's going to give you a a weird, I don't know, it'll, the way that the paint will interact with slightly drier areas and really wet areas, it, it just doesn't look very good. So you have to let your paint dry in between layers. And this is really good if you happen to have a baby and she starts crying a minute after you just started painting. Well, it's okay. That was the end of that layer anyway. So if you're feeling stressed out, like you don't have enough time to paint or anything like that, don't worry about it. All you need is just a few minutes at a time and eventually you can finish something. So don't worry. <laughs> Working in layers allows you to build things up slowly and it also allows you to get things done over several short periods of time rather than all at once. Once I put the background in, I realized that my darks really aren't as dark as I thought they were, so I have to come through and darken things up a bit. But now I'm doing that with the other colors, the magenta and violet, and it's really starting to pull everything together. In areas that I do end up going too dark, but the area is still wet, I can lift off a lot of that color just using a cotton ball or, um, yeah, it's like a round cotton pad, but you can use paper towel or anything like that. After it's dry, I use the ink tents pencil crayon to sharpen up some of the details and really bring in some of that contrast. That's basically it for this piece. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.